Yes, good morning students. Uh, today we will see the continuation for the one. Uh, yesterday we spoke about the elimination reactions. Under the elimination reaction, we have one important rule. What is the rule I am telling you? It is very important for competitive point of view. That rule is nothing but the sage rule. Sage rules are also calling it as Zaitsev's. Zaitsev's rule. Already we learned some rules uh, in that preparation. Marcoringa rule and anti-marcoringa rule. Under elimination, you have to follow one rule. Uh, what is that? Sages or Zages. What does both of the same mean? So what is the rule I will tell? Then we can see the application from that one. So always, always hydrogen atom. Under elimination, what is happening? Dehydrogenization of hydrogen atom. Should be removed. Should be removed or eliminated. Eliminated from the carbon. From the carbon which is having, which is having lesser number of hydrogens. Lesser number of hydrogen atoms. And uh, the carbon should be, and the carbon should be, should be adjacent, adjacent to halogen having carbon or halogen connected carbon, halogen connected carbon. Okay, once again you see, a uh, basic example you can understand. What the sage of rule? Always hydrogen atom should be eliminated or removed from the carbon which is having lesser number of hydrogen atom. And this carbon should be adjacent to the halogen connected carbon. It's similar to Marconi curve rule. What is a Marconi curve rule? Always negative particles should be added to the Lesser number of hydrogens having double bond covalent. Yes, we have to uh, remember that thing. Lesser number. See, if you want to remove the hydrogen, also should be from lesser number of hydrogen atoms having uh, hydrogen atoms having covalent. The covalent atom should be connected to the halogen having covalent. So just you see one example. CH3, CH2. CH, anita, Cl and CH3 meeting. Now we are using which one? Alcohol only. Leave it aqueous. Aqueous means replacement, no problem. Aqueous KOH, we have alcoholic KOH we are using. Compulsory, what is happening? Elimination is taking place. Observe very carefully about Okay, why elimination to positive this is there? Anybody? We can eliminate the chlorine from here only. With respect to the chlorine having carbon, adjacent carbon means right side one carbon is coming, left side one carbon is coming. From any one of you want to remove the hydrogen atom. Okay, for example, you are removing hydrogen from this one. Then what is happening? We are getting double bond here. Right on that is only CH3, CH, double bond, CH2. One product. No, I am removing hydrogen from the left side carbon atom. Then what we are getting? CH3, CH double bond and uh, CH. Uh, and the CH3 we are getting. Sorry, uh, we are getting one more problem now. So you are getting like this. CH3 here removal now. CH3, CH2, CH double bond, CH. Right side uh, elimination, left side elimination. Now, which is the major product? This is the major product, and uh, that will be the minor product. Means it will be forming a lesser percentage. Why? Because of it. What would you say? Always hydrogen atom should be removed from lesser number of hydrogen having carbon atom. There should be adjacent to the halogen connected carbon atom. Yes, here only hydrogen is there, two hydrogen, but here three hydrogen. So always preferentially you have to remove the hydrogen from lesser number of hydrogen having uh, carbon atom only. That's why you are getting double bond here. That is the basic point. Okay, just uh, I will give you one more example. What my point? Always hydrogen should be removed from the lesser number of hydrogen atoms having a carbon atom. They should be connected or they should be adjacent to the halogen connected carbon atom. Somewhere, uh, somewhere is there, it's not required. Which is connected to the halogen connected carbon that is important. You see, 
see one more example. C, uh, for example, like this will be there. Here C will be there. Here C H three will be there. I'm using a uh, which one alcoholic K O H anti. What happened? Note down the elimination from where? From here, note down the more hydrogen particle is removing. Okay. Now two possibilities: either from this carbon or from this carbon preferentially. Yeah, you know already this carbon has two carbon directions and remaining two are which one hydrogen atoms. Yeah, already three bonds is there. One more bond with which one hydrogen bond like structures. We are not showing hydrogen and carbon atom other than that two atoms only we are showing here. So it's a iubic rules. Okay, now from this carbon we can delete the hydrogen or from this carbon we can eliminate the hydrogen. But according to Sergio, we have to remove the hydrogen from the Lesser number only one. That's why double bond will come below, but not above. That's why what is the product we are getting? A six-member ring, and we are getting here C H three. Very important. Why? Because means more substituted alkenes are stable. More substituted alkenes will be stable. Right? According to that concept, and then reinforce this one. Are they announcing this rule? I will give you some other example for understanding purpose. To take for example, like this, six number, uh, six number ring will be there. C H two, C H C L, and C H three. I'm using an alcoholic NaO which I'm using. No doubt, the alcohol elimination. The two according to Sage rule from male. Left side carbon atom, right side carbon atom. Left side only. Why? Because we have to remove from lesser number of hydrogens are in carbon only. Then we are getting major product is water. Six number ring. On that we are getting CH double bond CH and single bond CH. Left side two hydrogens, right side three hydrogens. Important to say the two we should remove this one. Okay, I will give you one more question for understanding purpose. CH three CH. C H three, C H two, C H C L, and here C H three. I'm using which one? Alcoholic N O H. I'm using or K O H. Undergoing elimination according to C J F. Yes, you will get clarity here. Why I use it here? The carbon should be adjacent to the halogen connected carbon. You see, this is the halogen connected carbon. With respect to that one, adjacent carbons only we have to consider. Then only we are getting new one. Are you sure somewhere here one hydrogen will be there? I will consider that one means useless. Are you clear? Yes. Now what happened here? Two hydrogens is there. Here three hydrogens is there. Preferentially, according to Sage, we have to remove the hydrogen atom from the less than number. Means that two from left side. Then what product we are getting? C H three C H on it C H three. After that, C H remove hydrogen from here. Now we are getting a new bond here, double bond C H, and after that C H. All of you get it? A very very nice concept. Later, I am explaining one more concept, a very important thing. It is nothing but you see carefully. Um, for example, first case I am telling you. You take one alkyl halide, C H three, C H C L, and C H three. It will be reacted with the NaOH with alcohol. Alcohol means nothing but a big alcohol being, bulky alcohol being, very sherry, butyl alcohol being. What happening? So this is base. This is alcohol. I will do uh, elimination means useless. Why? Because means what is the product? I will explain. You see carefully. Okay. First of all, what happening? You know, from this alcohol, this hydrogen atom is replaced with which one? Na. So after that, what happening? H and O H will be coming like H two O. So finally, what particle is coming by the combination of this one? By the combination of this one, what we are getting? C H three C on it C H three C H three and O and A we are getting. Do you got that one? Yes. What is this base and alcohol combination? So then, what is further process here? This bond is shifting towards oxygen atom. We are getting minus here plus. Here. So what you got? Nucleophile box. So what is the nucleophile? C H three C C H three C H three O minus. Is it simple nucleophile or bulky nucleophile? Very bulky. Why? Because this negative charge carries an atomic particle. That's why it is calling as a bulky nucleophile. 
by any nucleophile, no doubt in it, but it is a, a big nucleophile. You take this compound, for example, CHB, C, H, C, L, and CH3. It is attached with which particle? That bulky nucleophile. What is the bulky nucleophile? CH3, 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 O minus. Is it going to substitution? Is bulky nucleophile is involving in the substitution? What is the condition for substitution? If it want to something enter into the compound, it should have a large of a large empty space. But coming one may be very bulky. Due to bulky nature, it should not acting as a nucleophile. It will be acting as a strong base. Strong base means what is the meaning of it? It's always having the capacity to absorb H plus particle. Yes, that's why. Don't do the things blindly. Observe carefully, alcohol has a right? base and alcohol, so I will do elimination meaningless. Or I will do substitution meaningless. But how to understand the concept? Okay, from this combination, we are getting big nucleophile is coming. The big nucleophile is unable to attack on this alcohol halide because the, the big particle attacking is not that much easy. So then, the bulky nucleophile is acting as a strong base, it's absorbing an express particle. So from where anybody? From where anybody? From this copper it may attract, from this copper it may attract. Why? Because both the coppers have the same number of hydrogen atoms. For example, I am removing hydrogen uh, from this copper atom. Then what we are getting? CH2, double bond, CH and CH3. Is it clear? Whenever it is putting H plus particle from here, automatically from here, Cl minus will be coming outside. Or otherwise, if you want to write down, write down clearly like this. From this compound, it will be shifting like this. Then we are getting plus here, minus here, plus here, minus here. So, adjacent particles are carrying opposite charge will get a new one. After that, HCl will be coming outside. We got all games. It's a very important question mark. Whenever alcohol halide will be reacting with the which one base with the bulky alcohol. From bulky alcohol, we are getting bulky nucleophile, then it won't act as a nucleophile, it will be acting as a strong base, then which reaction will be going on? Elimination reaction will be going on. Are you clear? Yes. Okay. Same reaction I am doing with the small alcohol. What changes is coming in this? With the bulky alcohol, we are getting elimination and the heading product is bulky. See, second case, observe very carefully among CH3, CH, CL, and CH3 is reacted with the NaOH, but I am taking the ethyl alcohol, C2H5OH. What is the getting product, sir? I will do according to like that. I will do alkyl. I will write which meaningless. Why? Because in both the cases, alcohol will be different. Because of alcohol, getting nucleophile will be changing. How? You know very well. NaOH will be reacted with which one? Ethyl alcohol. I already explained this information in Williamson synthesis. So then, what happened here? From your H, from your OH. Eliminating as water. After that, we are getting C2H5ONA. This is only we are calling as sodium salt of alcohol. Again, what's happening? This compound will be decomposing like here minus here plus. And it's a violent towards oxygen, you know. It is highly electronegative when it's a full electron. Sodium is a metal, always a loose electron. Then we are getting nucleophile is. C2H5O- is acting as a nucleophile. Is it small nucleophile or bulky nucleophile? Very small nucleophile. Very small nucleophile it is. Due to that one, what happening? It is involving in a substitutional reactions. Is it an attack on that? That's what I am writing here. C, CH3, CH and Cl and CH3. It is attacking with which one? C2H5O minus. This attacking on this halogen power will be very easy. Why? It's small. The attacking nucleophile will be small. That's why even small cap is over, it will enter into the double halide. 
So immediately this bond is looking like this will be minus here plus here. It will be involved in the bond formation. Then getting product is what C2H5 O connected with medium carbon. After that we are getting CH3 and CH3. What is this compound here? This is alkyl group R. This is also another alkyl group denoted by R dash. Denoted by R O R dash. He is calling it as ethers. Did you observe or not? Same alkyl halide, same base, but using alcohol will change the product. If you are using a big alcohol or bulky alcohol, getting nucleophile will be bulky. Then attacking or substitution is not possible. Then what happening? The elimination. No, same reaction you are doing with simple alcohol. From simple alcohol we are getting small nucleophile. The nucleophile is easily attacking on that uh, alkyl halide. Proceeding to which reaction? Substitutional reaction. We are getting products is ethers. This only we are calling as Williamson's synthesis. Williamson's synthesis. For which one? Ethers. In the Williamson's synthesis, getting product will be ethers. All of it will be amorphous. Okay, now starting with the record, uh, this whole lesson will be into two parts. One is halo alkanes, another one is halo lakes. With this halo alkanes is over preparation, properties, this and everything, which is we see across commonly. Now, second part we are discussing, it is nothing but uh, halo alkanes. Halo alkanes. Already I have given some idea for you. It is also calling as how aryl halides. How can you represent this one? Aryl means it is nothing but aromatic connected with halogen. Can I give one example? How can you detect it is a halogen? You take any aromatic compound like benzene. To that benzene, directly halogen atoms will be connected. In any organic compound, the halogen atom is directly connected to the aromatic rings. Those compounds is calling as halogenes. As array halides denoted by ARX. Now we are discussing the same preparation properties and units. First of all, we are discussing about the preparations. Preparations of the halo halides. So, first preparation I am explaining. You already learned in the first year organic chemistry at aromatic compounds. The same course will be coming here. See you. Okay, first of all, I am taking benzene, will be reacted with the halogen in presence of FeCl3. What is the name of the FeCl3? Ferric chloride. This ferric chloride is acting as a Lewis acid. What is the special of Lewis acid among? Donating the, accepting the, accepting, acid, accept all. It will accept the pair of electron from other species. Then getting product is nothing but a chlorobenzene. No one will ask this one. But how it is forming? That is important. That one already learned in first year. Even though I am explaining once again, you see. What statement has to be written? Whenever benzene will be treated with chlorine in presence of FeCl3 and we are getting chlorobenzene, here FeCl3 is acting as a Lewis acid. The whole mechanism is going to electrophilic substitutional reactions. Electrophilic substitutional reactions. What is the meaning of electrophilic comma? Electron deficient center or deficient particle will undergo in the substitution. This part denoted by E plus. NU minus nucleophile E plus no electrons or less electron, nothing but electron deficient particle is acting as a uh, reactive species. Now, how it is uh, happening? Three steps is going on. First step I am explaining. Generation of nucleophiles. Once again, I am telling a mechanism is not request for your examination point of view, but a better and than the concept for doing application. Generation. Generation of electrophile, nothing but E plus. Generation is what? Production or producing. Okay, how it is this one? Reaction between Lewis acid and this one. So you see carefully here Cl3 will be involved in the reaction with chlorine. What happened, you know? 
Yes, I can see that they have the capacity to receive the payoff electron. Then what are happening? This bond will be shifting like this. Then we are getting a minus here. Yes. Out of this, which is the rich center, rich electron particle, Cl1. Cl minus is absorbed by this one. Then we are getting this particle, FeCl4, we will be getting minus. And which will be come outside? Cl plus Cl minus is absorbed by this one. Then we are reminding this which particle? Cl plus. Cl plus means what the positively charged uh, intermediate. It is nothing but considered as a which particle? Electrophile, which are made. Okay, now I am explaining second point uh, uh, attacking of electrophile. Attacking of electrophile. How electrophile will be attacking on this reason? What is that one? Benzene. See, very careful and very simple things. Benzene. Okay, now which particle is approaching? Cl plus is approaching. It is nothing but electrophile. First of all, what happens is by one electron will be shooting like this. And also, I will do outside to it. No problem. Okay, then what we are getting here? Plus, here we are getting minus. Which charge is favorable for attacking from Cl plus? Minus. Okay, then what we are getting on this uh, benzene ring, uh, we are getting here chlorine, and after that we are getting bonds here, here the C ring. The positively charged carrying carbon we are calling as which one? Carbo -carbon. But finally, what happened in third step? Is nothing but third step uh, a removal of H plus particle. Removal of H plus ion. Ah, what do you want in the second step? Let's take the six number ring. On the six number ring here, we are getting chlorine here, plus starch here, bond here. Removal of H plus particle. From where and how? See here, this carbon has right now how many bonds? Four bonds. Still one more bond is there, that is with which one? Hydrogen. This hydrogen atom is taken out. Then what happening? Uh, positive charge now. This electron is shifting towards a ring. Then ring gets minus. And which is coming outside? H plus. So finally H plus particle is coming outside. Again after that, ring getting minus here positive. They are adjacent together. Again they will form a new bond. Then we are getting a compound is nothing but which one? Chloro benzene. How this removal particle will be utilized? Again, this H plus particle is absorbed with the FeCl4 minus 5 because that is H plus and will be reacted with the FeCl4 minus. How it is that one? Again, it is becoming by how? FeCl3 plus Cl minus. Again, H plus combined with the Cl minus is becoming like HCl and as well as FeCl3. Again, FeCl3 will go starting and further we actually will be going. So once again, this all things is not required for you, but the uh, electrophilic substitution reaction will be going in three stages. First, generation or producing electrophile, attacking of electrophile, then you are getting carbocation. Carbocation means it's unstable particle because of charge becoming stabilized. To becoming stabilized, it loses the express particle. Then the loose particle will be reacting with this particle. Again, you are getting starting material, it will be going for Okay, we will see uh, uh, just some common points that uh, we will discuss in the uh, next preparation. We will see next class. What is this one? For example, there is an addition of the device. I will give you some example for you. For example, you take uh, CH, CL, and your CH3. Here already uh, CH3 will be there. It is involving in the reaction with the alcoholic KOH. What is the product? My question you will get double bond right side or between carbon and ring. That's very important. Now, you have to observe very well. The things will be going according to which rule? Say, rule. Okay, first of all, here, anyway, no doubt from here, halogen should be eliminated. With respect to the carbon here, how many is there? Three hydrogens will be there, right side carbon. Comes to left side carbon, is there any chance for hydrogen? Any chance for hydrogen? No. Why? Because already four bonds in here, here number of hydrogen will be zero. 
Can we look from this one? No chance. Then what happens? Elimination from only right side. Then we are getting which one and we have to take six number day here uh, CH3 will be there. After that CH CH and double bond CH2. Yes, okay, just I will give you some other example for practice purpose. You see, for example, uh, like this and CH. CH3 and CH2CN. I am writing uh, two reagents. I am writing. What is that one? Aqueous KOH and alcoholic KOH. Observe very carefully. Aqueous substitution. Very simple. Hydrogen particle is substituted with which particle? OH. We are getting which one? Six number ring on this. We are getting CH and CH3 and we are CH2OH. Now, second reaction alcoholic compulsory base. Base means elimination. It is undergoing through elimination. It is undergoing through substitution. Elimination means you have to follow which rule? Sage of rule. According to Sage of rule, halogen from here, any other chance? No chance. Only from left side of the then we are getting product is how six number ring we are getting C CH3 double bond CH. I equals no other chance only we have to remove the hydrogen from that side. All of it here? Yes. You see for the CH3 CH2 CH will be reacting with the potassium cyanide and the Silver cyanide. Is it getting products is it? No. So under this we are getting which one? Cyanides. Sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide means cyanides we are getting CH3, CH2, 